In actuality, no shrub necessitates trimming. They won't need it to make it in the wild. Many gardeners worry about having to prune their plants, but you should remember that you are not obligated to do so. Keep in mind that these low-maintenance evergreen shrubs won't look quite as tidy if you prune them, but they will seem far more natural if you let them grow in their own uninhibited way. Number one, anise tree. Japanese anise and Mexican anise, two of the most famous types of anise tree, are actually shrubs rather than trees. Oval, glossy leaves and one inch wide, many petaled spring flowers evocative of magnolias characterize the Japanese anise plant, which can reach a height and width of 15 feet. As one of the best smelling evergreens, thanks to its spicy scented wood, both can survive in zones six to 10 and don't need a lot of care. Number two, bush anemone. This tall, narrow leaf shrub originates originally from California. White flowers with yellow centers blue profusely throughout the late spring and summer. The bush anemone accepts ordinary garden conditions and takes on a rounded shape without any assistance from the gardener. In addition to its attractive appearance, it is highly drought resistant in zones seven through 10. Number three, firethorn. The firethorn is a fast growing evergreen that can reach heights of two to 15 feet, depending on the variety. It has glossy foliage, thorns and clusters of off-white flowers in the spring, although its aroma may be off-putting to some. Some of them can turn lanky if not pruned every few years, despite the fact that they look nice and blossom and fruit more when left to grow naturally. The hardiness zone range for Paracantha is from six to 10. Number four, holly. Unless you wanna keep them from getting too big or cut branches for holiday decorating, Holly bushes with their glossy, serrated leaves and red, yellow, or black berries don't need much trimming. Dwarf types that never grow taller than a foot and a half in monster variants that can reach heights of up to 50 feet are all available. To get berries, you'll need to grow both male and female evergreen plants, and their hardiness zones range from 5 to 11. Number 5. Mahonia. These evergreens come in a wide range of sizes, from the two foot tall compacta varieties of Oregon grape holly to the 10 foot tall desert Mahonia. They are hardy in zones five to 11. The shrubs blossom in clusters of yellow in the spring and then bear berries in clusters of blue, red, or brown in the fall. They are among the low maintenance plants because they rarely need to be pruned beyond removing dead branches. Number six, myrtle. Typically topping out at around six feet tall, myrtle bushes have fragrant leaves, white flowers with plenty of stamens that bloom in the summer and tiny black berries that develop later in the year. In USDA plant hardiness zones eight through 10, an untrimmed myrtle hedge is a beautiful and fragrant addition to any yard. Number seven, sweet spire. Another sweetie, this one looks more like holly than box does, and it's frequently referred to as holly leaf sweet spire because of its prickly, glossy leaves. It can reach heights of 15 feet and produces fragrant, greenish white flowers in late summer and early fall in zones seven through 10. According to reports, those are more common in the cooler parts of the species range. Number eight, tea tree. Many leptospermums are essentially shrubs despite their common name as trees. Among the full sun shrubs, these grow to a maximum height of one to 30 feet, have little leaves and bear small, five feet old blooms that are often fragrant. If planted in well-drained soil, they require very little maintenance and are perfect for the carefree gardener. 
Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.